Hi kindergarten, it's Miss Bird here. I'm working from home just like you are. Today we're going to be learning all about maps. We're going to learn what they are and how they can be useful. We'll even see what they look like. To start off with, we're going to have a look at a song and we're going to listen to it. And it's going to tell us just a little bit about what a map is. Let's have a look. you today but I don't really know the way your street your house oh, I don't know which way to go I can find out where you're at I think I'll make a fun pirate map I can take an adventure your house is the treasure I'll go forward, I'll go back Through the woods, I know that Down each tree, I can follow this map Over a bridge, under a mountain Past a park, before the fountain With this map, I know where it's at I'm gonna visit you today And now I figured out the way I know how to make a map Yes, I know a bit about that It's called navigation Going in the right direction The map tells me where I need to go Gonna get there, I know. I'll go forward, I'll go back through the woods. I know that down each street, I can follow this map over the bridge, under a mountain, past a park, before the fountain. With this map, I know where it's at. A map shows us where we are and where we need to go. They show us what is around us. I have found some pictures of some maps that I would like to show you. The first picture I have is of a globe. A globe is round like a ball and it is in the shape of the earth. It shows us where countries are, where continents and oceans are. On this globe, Australia is down the bottom. Next to Australia is the Indian Ocean. And above Australia, up here, is Asia. This is a map of the world, but instead of being round like a globe, they've rolled it out flat. Over here we have Australia, here is the Indian Ocean, and here is Asia. So it is just like the globe, but it, but it is flat. This is a map that somebody made of their town. On their map, they have shown where the playground is, where their school is, where the police station is. They have put Simon's house across the road from the police station. And across from Simon's house is a pizza restaurant. Over here is Dan's house. And across the road from Dan's house is a park with a lake. This is a map of a school that I found. When you visit a school, it is important that you know where the toilets are. Here 
are some toilets there and here are more toilets down here. This is the kindergarten area and down here is the office. They have a netball court where children can play and they even have a hall just like our school. This is a map of a classroom. On the map it shows where the teacher sits. It also shows the tables and chairs where children sit. There are rugs where children can sit on the floor. It even says windows down here to show where the windows are. This is a map of a house. I wonder how many bedrooms there are in the house. There's one, two, three, four bedrooms in the house. I wonder how many bathrooms there are in the house. There's one, two bathrooms. Where can you cook your dinner in your house? Maybe you could do it in the kitchen. Where can you watch TV in this house? How about in the living room? This is a map of a zoo. When you go to the zoo, you will want to know where the animals are that you want to visit. Perhaps you'd like to visit the koalas or perhaps you would like to visit the kangaroos. Maybe you'd like to visit the crocodiles. Or if you're really brave, you could go and see the spiders. When you go to the zoo, you will need to know where the toilets are. On the map down here, we have a symbol for the toilets. There are toilets there. There's some over near the gift shop. And over near the crocodiles, there's toilets. So there are three lots of toilets in this zoo. This is my favourite type of map. It is a treasure map for Mystery Island. It shows us where we need to start. We then have to follow the dotted line around the, the island to get up here to where the treasure is on the mountain. You might have seen this map before. This map is on a phone. It will show you where you are and you can even get it to tell you how to get somewhere. If you ask mum, dad or whoever is looking after you, they might be able to show you the map on their phone. Your task is going to be to draw a map of your house. You need to pretend that you are a bird looking down on it. What can the bird see? So I'm going to draw a map of my house. First, I'm going to draw the walls on the outside of my house. Here I've got my bedroom and over here is my garage. So I might even draw a picture of my bed. Here is a picture of my car. There it is in my car garage. And I'm going to write garage on here. I'm going to write bedroom over here. Here is another bedroom. And I'm going to draw a bed there. Here is a bathroom. And I'm going to put the toilet there. Here is the bath. 
Here is the basin and here is the shower. I'm going to write bathroom. Over here is my kitchen. There's my bench. Here's the fridge. And here's another bench. I can even put an arrow and write fridge. This is my dining room and there's my dining table. And this is my lounge room. There's one lounge, there's the other lounge, and on this wall is my TV. So have a go at drawing your house. I can't wait to see the, the map of your house and I hope you get, remember everybody's bedrooms. Have fun doing your tasks. Bye.